These next exercises I'm going to go over are a great way of developing strength and stability in the muscles that surround the knee. This is particularly important for sports with a heavy deceleration component. So for example, tennis, any sport that involves a series of jumping and landing, so netball, basketball, and this movement is really going to help you build the ankle mobility required to do some more advanced uh, knee strengthening or deceleration type exercises. So first thing you're going to do is find a step or a bench or something to elevate the uh, foot on. It doesn't need to be too high to begin with because we want to ease our way into the mobility and the strength demands of this exercise. So I'm going to start in a tall position and the key thing I'm making sure here is as I dip my foot back and down I want to avoid anything funky going on at the knee. I quite like to do these with a three second lower just to make sure I can really focus on that knee stability. The key thing is when this foot touches the floor it's almost like your foot is kissing uh, the baby's head as it were. So we don't want to just step and squish the bug or step on the baby's head. We're just going to gently kiss the baby's head with our foot and then come up. What you'll notice as well is by having that light touch is that the muscles around the front of the knee are going to work a lot harder. So if I was to show you this uh, from the side, you'll notice that obviously range of motion is a little bit limited, but this is a great way to ease into the uh, mobility required from these types of exercise. So we're isolating the stability on that front leg. We're getting used to developing the strength that would be required in a deceleration position on one leg and certainly from a similar angle. Once we've got the mobility and the strength with these single leg uh, step downs, then we can start to increase the range of motion required. So for example, a single leg step down can in time turn into a, a skater squat. So once we've had enough time on the single leg step down and we've been focusing our control, gradually raising the height if possible, then we can start to work towards a skater squat. So here you'll see that obviously the range of motion is a lot deeper. I need more mobility from my hip and my knee. There's a greater challenge on the stability to keep that front knee wide or quiet. If we start to see excessive wobbling either way, that's a sign that currently this exercise is too hard for you. But that is the single leg step down, and at the end we've gone through uh, a skater squat. A final variation, if even that first one is too difficult, is simply a knee over toe split squat. So normally in a split squat position, you would set up with, for example, your torso vertical, which is a great way of stretching this back hip. But in a knee over toe split squat, we bring the feet slightly closer together. We lean forward a bit. And then as we come down, we're driving that knee over the toe. So slight forward lean, driving that knee over that toe. And over time, if I bring this back foot closer, I'm exaggerating the strength and stability required on this front leg. I'm also increasing the mobility and this back leg we can either use it for balance just to stop ourselves falling over or in time we can take that back leg off completely so these are a great series of uh, exercises to build yourself up to the full single leg squat to a bench or indeed a full pistol squat all of these exercises that I've gone over are great for knee stability, are great for improving the ability to decelerate, especially if we look at sports with a change of direction component, or indeed sports where a heavy deceleration component is required, like the tennis surf. That's an awful demonstration of the tennis surf, but you get the idea. We want to be strong and stable to be able to then push back out of that position, whether we're serving or whether, for example, it's a drop shot of the net. We want to be strong and stable. We don't want to be wasting too much time trying to reorientate our body because we don't have the strength and stability in the leg to
basically put the brakes on. Hope you found that useful.